Gargle Snacks House here with another episode of Gargle News, your sort of bi-weekly news to all things gaming. And this week we have updates on FNCS, the Helldivers Sony change, EA being greedy as always, AMD CPUs that were uh, on some crazy sales, and Red Dead Redemption, the first one, finally coming to PC. To start, this upcoming weekend is Grand Finals for Major 2 of FNCS. Uh, more qualifying slots are back up for grabs, with the top 5 EU du duos qualifying as well as the top 3 NA duos. All other regions still have one qualifying slot. Acorn and Cold and Malibuka and Mustache have already qualified for the Global Championship, and we'll see who joins them. Uh, some duos have been swapped around, but some of the big names are still together. One major thing to see though, Mongrel and Savage did not qualify for this Grand Final. I finally have good news about a corporate decision. Sort of. Sony undid uh, the terrible changes that they made to Helldivers that required players to link a PlayStation account. Uh, this would cause an unnecessary hassle to those already pl playing to have to now link a new account through PlayStation, which caused an even bigger issue for some players as well, because some P or PSN accounts are not available in some countries. So you could have just bought the game, and now you can't even play it. With this, the game got a lot of hate on ratings, and they ended up even firing a community manager for supposedly promoting the hate rating. But I mean, hey, they fixed the issue, so... It's a bit wrong, but what am I going to do? I'm just glad that a big company rolled back on a bad decision for once in light of consumer response. But back in today's edition of companies trying to make more money by ruining player experience, just like Sony tried to do, but in a different way, EA has been looking into adding advertisements into AAA games. EA CEO says that with the billions of hours spent by players in their games, adverts will be a meaningful way for EA as a company to grow. It's absolutely ridiculous, but if you're already paying 60 or more dollars for probably mid-game, like, it's just, it's just, it's overkill. Why can't companies just appreciate their consumers and not be so greedy for once? EA also looks to add AI to their development process, which should be interesting and allow for games to be released faster and more things added, but it could also cause a lower level production quality, as well as laziness in development, which already is happening to some games. But hopefully it's done in a good and meaningful and productive way and improves games rather than harms them. And then we have a little small little PC nerd section. I saw a few days ago now, but uh, it made me do a little double take, that AMD CPU prices on Amazon were really low. Uh, for example, the Ryzen 7 5800X was only $141, and the 5, Ryzen 5 5600X was like 120 And uh, most of their processors were on a large like 20 to 70% uh, sale which I have never seen before, and I'm not sure why it was going on, but I mean, it's pretty cool, and it seems a lot of people jumped on it. I wish I did, but the 5800X sold out before I could get it. Um, hopefully we see more sales like this with uh, PC parts, as well as, like, because market has been really bad and really expensive lately, but it seems it's coming down. So let me know if you took advantage of this, and uh, maybe if you know why the deals were good, let me know. After 14 years, Red Dead Redemption will be coming to PC. RDR 2 has already been released on PC, but this will be the first time that the first one is on PC. Rockstar Games released RDR to PS4 and Switch, but not to PC, which made a lot of fans unhappy, but they've now announced that they're going to be adding it to PC, which likely will be their last addition to PC until GTA 6 comes out in probably a while. That's all for this edition of Gargle News. There were some things that we're interested to see play out. Um, if you like this edition, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.